Mum's Creative Studio. I'm Angie. Today we are doing something a little bit different. I'm um, got two different angles going on, so bear with me. But we'll see how this works today and see if this is something we're going to do regularly. Um, yes, you can see a bunch of stuff in the background. I'm sorry. I'll try to edit a lot of this out. And I'm looking at the cam screen and laptop screen. Okay, we are going to do a corn with this duck, duck sign. And I think this is a stamp, but I don't have the stamp. And I found the image on uh, Pinterest. And I am going to do a video soon on... Uh, uh, how I use Pinterest as my best friend for my images, all my painting, my card making, you name it. I use Pinterest a lot. So, with that being said, we are going to get busy and do this. And, like I said, I'm not sure how this is all going to work out. But, this is my, was the image. And I just put it on my... Full, uh, I think it's three and a half by five corn and I printed it out like three by five and used my famous common paper and traced it onto my cardstock and then I outlined it with a uh, prism cock corners where it's not um that is waterproof I just use cardstock. I'm not using watercolor paints. I'm going to actually use my alcohol markers that I ain't used in a few days or a while. So, bear with us and we'll get this going. And I'm going to grab a PB3 in Spectra Normals. And all I've got is Spectra Normals uh, alcohol markers. So, I'm going to grab Orange 2. Uh, TN4, and I need to get, let's see, let's see, this is out, that'll be good, J, JG3, okay. First of all, I'm going to use my TB3. I say that. I can't get it open. And I like the Spectrum Normals. Uh, good. And I'm just going to call around. Around this lake. And I may get crazy here. Let's get busy. And like I said, you can color this any way you want to. I'm coloring it this way. Other people color it different ways. It's your creation. I'm just giving you ideas. For a long time, I would not buy stamps because they take up so much room. When I was corn making. This is how I done a lot of my stamp images. Or I would print them off and use them as a print uh, digital stamps, as I call them. I mean, there's a ways around a lot of stuff. And if you don't have a lot of money, I mean, I, I don't, I'm on fixed ink. I've been on fixed ink for years. So I, you know. I try to do what I can do cheaply. I mean, we, uh, I'm coming out of it. But I still like cheap stuff. As I said in one video, I don't, I think I posted it. My husband can take a penny and just stretch it. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm done with that. Oh, damn it. I'm going to use the orange toilet seat. And I did all of this on the uh, computer in uh, where I printed it off. And then I used, uh, even from the late, uh, the morning, I printed it off and just typed it out in a uh, Google Docs. Just, I mean, I'm just showing y'all the possibilities of what can be done with a little bit, with just a computer and a printer. And a few markers. I mean, you can use water based markers. You could use uh, the uh, Crayola markers. I mean, you don't have to have Inspector Norris. You don't have to have alcohol markers. I like the alcohol markers. Alcohol markers, but that's what I prefer. But I do have the uh, I have the uh, water based ones also. I've got. I've got some that I really like. I've got some that I don't really care about. And that, what? Let me know how y'all like these new videos. I mean, I've got a new camera. I got a new video camera. I've been using the webcam for a couple of years now, and uh, I finally broke down and bought a, a regular video camera. Put the log on, and I used it when we went to the liberal puppy, and I used it. I played with it the whole time. It was fun, and no, my face is still on the webcam. If anybody wants to know. Okay, I am going to take a black fine, fine point sharpie and I'm going to trace my lines. All right, I mean, just the edge of it, just like so. And you might not be able to tell anything on the. Except I got the hood instead of. Hang on. Paper. Okay, so you can see it now. But I'm getting more of the paper than I am the cardstock. And if you're using a glass mat, this is a glass. And I've just painted it black where y'all can, where it's not so noticeable. But all, and then uh, we uh, put clear coating over it. And all I use is alcohol to clean it and a baby wipe. Although it didn't get totally clean this last time. Okay. I'm just rambling. I'm going to get. I say I'm going to get a paper cleaner. i got to find one. I ain't made a card in so long. And I'm, I'm planning on making a few cards each week. Or at least a card a week. And I'm going to cut out my saying. It says, hope you're on your feet soon. And uh, this is a get well card. And like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh... It's just a cheaper way of, if you've got a printer, you know, use it. I mean, use it as your best friend. And, uh, teaching Jesse's doing good. I know y'all probably sick of hearing about my dogs. We delivered the last puppy, uh, Friday. So... 
We are puppy free. Tootsie is, she, I think she's happy this time about being puppy free. And, uh, uh, I don't want to say, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. I'm going to take my orange spectrum oil. And if you've got uh, Sharpies, use Sharpies for this. That's what I started out with. And I'm just going to trace the outline. And then I've got a five and a half by four and a quarter. This may be, I don't know. I don't know what size I make this. And I'm using ATG, my ATG gun. I am out of rock pedal glue. And that's just the craft is in itself. If you know me, I love my <laughs> rock pedal glue. I didn't realize how low I was until it was too late to order them. It was too cold to order it. So. Well, I poured this in my way. And then I'm going just to put the tape on this. And we are done. In less than 11, 12 minutes. What do y'all think? I hope y'all liked this short video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to us. Share our videos. And I'll catch you next time. We love you. Bye.